Mark. Mark. <coughs> Hello and welcome to a daily challenge which looks like an Azazel run. This should be fun or brief. You never know. Back on the keyboard. Uh, he says like it's a habit he tried to break for some period. It's not. It was a time of inadequacy and inelegance and a time I would much prefer to forget. How is this happening? Right. Well, we lost an entire heart on that room, and to be quite honest, I really do hate those mother pins. But I've not played for a while. I've got to get back into the game, which does involve not screwing it up royally all the time, if you can manage it. And of course, this is a daily run, so taking damage on the first floor. The points matter to some extent. And taking damage on the first floor simply means that all I've done is given myself a much greater damage penalty than I would have if I'd taken damage on the very last floor, because I believe that the, dis the uh, earlier you take the damage, i.e. the more floors you do having taken the damage, the worse the damage penalty is for it. I'm going to pop these to see if there's any yeah, money, basically. Uh, there's a small chance there's a spirit heart in them. But I'm more concerned about the cash. Maybe we get a trinket, maybe we get petrified poop and take it down to the next floor. Get way more cash as a result. Uh, but mostly Azazel is nice and quick. We shouldn't have much trouble getting to boss rush. We shouldn't have much trouble getting to Hush, although we may have a lot of trouble dealing with Hush uh, as a result of being Azazel. And we will see what we get here. Vamp... Charm of the Vampire is okay. Not something I would have selected if I was given the option of what item I wanted. Mostly because we haven't got any red hearts to heal with it. We'll take these because I don't know what's good for me. Telepills is pretty helpful. Um, I could have been more helpful and gotten us into a room that had value for us, but at the same time... I mean, we look on the bright side, that was a little tiny little bit of... Um, balls ooh, balls of steel. Very nice. A little tiny little bit of exploration bonus for this floor, which may or may not make up for the damage penalty we took, but we did learn about a Balls of Steel pill, which in future we can look for and recognise. Well, I didn't really pay much attention to what it was, but it will say Balls of Steel when we pick it up next, which I'm counting on. And therefore, uh, some spirit hearts for us in the future. Can we um, yeah, play the shooting at me game so that I can shoot back? That was very risky, don't do what I did. Uh, Pageant Boy does give us the opportunity to get a... What's in the shop? I was going to say it gives us an opportunity to get a, an arcade on the next floor, but at the same time, we might want to buy something from here, which I kind of don't. could buy that pill on the off chance it's balls and steel, which would be two spirit hearts for five cents, but I don't think it's worth it. That was probably not a good use of a bomb. I thought I'd see if there was a super secret room there and try and get ourselves a little bit more of uh, a head start, but really all I could say that I was hoping for there would probably be a black heart or an eternal heart. The eternal heart would be valuable, or it would have been valuable, because on this floor we're basically guaranteed to get a deal with the devil. Now I don't want to, you know, float my own boat or anything, but yeah, there's a charm of the vampire trying to give us a oh, demon baby. Um, it's very unlikely that we take well, it's impossible to take red heart damage. We have no red hearts. And it's very unlikely that we die, even though I am playing piss poorly today. Holy shit. <laughs> Stop it. So, we're going to want to spend three spirit hearts on the deal with the devil, most likely. Or go for an angel run. I mean, it's not unheard of. What do you reckon that this is a secret room? Here. Excellent. Free entry to the shop, provided we can find another bomb, which we can't, so who cares. I think I will... I will pay the key. Leave me alone. The Bible is here, I don't really want it. The credit card is great. This does allow us to get both the Devil Room and not get Devil Precedent, which may or may not be a good thing. I mean, I made that out like it was a super duper high value thing to be able to buy Devil Deals without you know, getting devil precedent. That's not the case. I would like to get precedent, but it means that if there's multiple things in there, we don't have to spend six spirit hearts, which we can't really do, not safely. Whereas, if there is something we want to spend three spirit hearts on in order to guarantee future deals with the devil, we can buy one thing and then use the credit card to get the other thing. 
which is exactly the case. So I'm going to take this, use the credit card to get this for free. Now we have Devil Precedent. Hopefully we get some HP between now and the next deal with the Devil. We still have 11 cents left as a result of... And I don't, I don't want that magnet, by the way. We can keep our full card. I'm tempted to buy this Spirit Heart. We haven't actually explored this floor fully. Although, who cares? I'm not going to explore this floor fully. Um, because the only thing I can really hope for right now is a cursed room, which we may find on the next floor anyway, so who cares? Or a arcade, but I don't have any red hearts to spend on the arcade. So we'll go down to the next floor, try and press on for time. I mean, I did say it's unlikely that we miss boss rush, but that provides that I don't faff around doing rooms I don't need to do. It's very nice being able to fly at this stage of the game. You can just have anything. Which is basically why I don't want the um, the magnet there, because all the magnet does is pull stuff towards you, but it pulls enemies towards you as well. Um, and I don't need stuff pulled towards me because I can reach everything anyway. Oh, Cricket's head. Very happy with this. Although if I could continue to fire whilst I was in the jubilant state of having picked it up, that would also be sweet. Very happy that these don't explode in my face and chase me. Honestly, Demon Baby is one of my favourite items. Most people probably don't really give it the uh, credit that I do. I'm very glad I opened all these. But it does, it does a not insignificant amount of damage. That was very lucky not to get hit there. I mean, once you get to the later game, sure, Demon Baby does start to wane in its efficacy. But in these early game times... The amount of damage Demon Baby does, at least versus the amount of damage the enemy has, can be significant. Isaac's head is no good, but it's something. We don't have a trinket, so why not? This is a shit show. Dodge. And we're done. That's how that's done. Skinny Odd Mush, I believe, is pretty good even as a Zazel. It vastly reduces our charge time, which means we can brimstone all that more often. 48 hour energy, 8 hour energy. Would be fine if you had anything to use it on. Don't. Isaac's head basically just shoots for us. Which is kind of... It's kind of nice in this respect. In this situation. Because we don't have any long range tears at all. I'm kind of hoping to remedy that with deals with the devil in the future. Or maybe... I mean rubber cement is one of my favourite ways of getting the Isaac uh, Azazel system. Simply by bouncing my brimstone off... Oh that was very bad. Bouncing my brimstone off the wall and getting an infinite brimstone. <sighs> that was a particularly poor performance just now. Walking in, I knew that enemy exploded into uh, a starburst of shots. I had no reason to walk into it, but it being a champion, it took a full heart away from us. So there's really no excuse except to say that I apparently suck at this game today, but we'll get through. Plenty of money. So we could go to the shop, and I think I will before the boss. Could give us something nice like Champion Belt. Nice damage upgrade to offset the damage downgrade we got from Skinny Odd Mush, which is a great item. Our, you know, don't let me suggest that our rate of fire is not too valuable to us. We should take the Spirit Heart, just in case we get a deal with the Devil and no... Um, I, did I want that? That, that, uh, that counted as a kill. So, okie dokie. Uh, no, thank you. Um, in case we don't get HP from the boss, which is often the opposite of what you hear people saying, please don't give me HP from the fucking boss, give me an upgrade, but we're a Zazel. What we need now is something we can give to the devil. I see, honestly, I'm kind of hoping for no deal with the devil at all, because no deal with the devil means we don't have to decide whether we want to take it or not. Is there anything behind this? Think? Ah, you fucker. I mean, three shot in it is great. We've got another tiers upgrade. We've got Betrayal, which we don't want, so I guess that's basically the same as not getting a deal with the devil, and we'll leave, try and make up some time. Don't think there was anything on that floor I really cared about finding. I think we're in hard mode, but it looks like we're going to the dark room. I honestly cannot tell the difference between the, uh, the two photographs when they're in the daily run icon there. I don't think Demon Baby scales with our damage, but getting another tiers upgrade is... Pretty handy because it basically means our um, our charge time is approaching very quickly, asymptotically approaching zero, which means of course it will never be zero. But it can get very close, I expect. 
We don't really need to do that room for once. I say for once, it's been quite common that we've been going as far as Blue Baby or the Isaac fight, uh, the lamb fight. Fighting the lamb as a Zazel could be quite a challenge, actually. And also, no, I couldn't tell you at what point I learned to deal with those jokers, but learn I did. We want to fight this room, even though it's a shit show. Release your hounds. There we go. Not a uh, champion haunt fight, which is very nice indeed. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the uh, fear shot. The, the dark matter, which is, seems to be causing me quite uh, an issue with enemies like the haunt, which go completely erratic once you fear them, because I guess that's just the effect that fear has on the haunt. It's not fun. It's very difficult to cope with. We're at nine minutes on Catacombs 2. So we're actually going really fast. But as usual when I say that, don't just slow down for the sake of it. Keep going. Keep up the speed. We haven't got a spacebar item yet, so I'm definitely going to want to check out our... Uh, yes. We definitely want to check out our item room on this floor. We don't want to skip it is what I'm saying. We've got Magra's Faith, which is not necessarily something I was too excited about taking in the past. It gives us an eternal heart at the start of every floor, which of course matures into a full red heart at the end of well, at the start of the next floor, which should fuel deal with the devil potential in the future. And if nothing else, it actually makes Charm of the Vampire worth having. There's no prizes really for having zero red HP unless you get something like Horror Babylon or Empty Vessel, and we haven't got either of those right now. I'm not necessarily sure we're going to get it any time in the future, so... I guess who cares? We, um... My charge time is great, and these extra spirit hearts have been super good for us. Uh, I don't want to get too close because I'm not going to be able to dodge its shots. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> I have to get close because Azazel has a very short range. <sighs> We're still alive, and we've actually made HP on this floor. And I seem to have remembered how to press the buttons in the right order. I'm catacombs too, not depths too, so we can definitely do this. Worth it. We've got a blue cap, which is an HP upgrade, which is exactly what I was asking for. Tears up and shot speed down is also... Was it damage up as well? I can't remember if blue cap's a damage upgrade too, but... I'm happy to stack up damage and tears upgrades. Any DPS upgrade we can manage... Yes, we're quite fast, so I don't mind taking the HP down, like the speed down for this HP up. And we can go and pick up some of this HP. Obviously, I'm slowing down a little bit, but I'm trying not to let it sort of um, take over the run. I just want to pick up this HP in here, and then hit up the arcade and get some cash. I'm hoping from the arcade basically to get... I mean, honestly, either the blood bag or the IV bag would be good for us at this stage. Ooh, or this Joker, which is much better. Didn't manage to give him two somehow. Something good, please. Uh, okay. It's basically the full card with some added benefits. Uh, we'll blow this up then. Um, I'd rather get something out of this guy than that guy. Please. Seriously. That is shit. You should be ashamed of yourself. Please. Man, I hate you. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll give him some spirit hearts to hell with it. I don't want to go too far down because he's going to fucking eat me out of house and home. No, that's it. You're not getting any more. That was a bit of a wash. I'm a bit upset. I'm going to probably have to have a talk with somebody. Very um, heart-to-heart -heart conversation at some point in the future just to get that off my chest, I think. Seems like a sneaker room. Well, I mean, the money's great. I can't fault the amount of money we're getting. But not being able to get anything out of that demon judgment, even though there's fucking HP in here as well. Um, it's it's sad making. We've still got this stars card. If we find a curse room, I'd be happy to pay the stars card to get out of it. But I'd rather find the curse room before the item room, therefore. Good. Because it would allow us to sort of get the most out of the stars card here. Which we did, so there you go. Guffy. No. Question marks. It's not telepills, we know that much. Range down is not very good as a Zazel. Infested is okay. Uh, gives us a Ooh, this is probably really good in some situations. I just realised I'm slightly more excited than I should be about this. A unicorn stump can be excellent. 
but what we really need now is an orbital or something that does damage whilst we're not firing. Obviously, we have the Demon Baby, which basically fulfills that, but its output is not that great. Basically, I want Sack Dagger. We've got both of the thingies. We must go. That was really bad damage. I fully agree with you. But also, Charm of the Vampire will allow us to spend HP on things like that Demon Judgment in future. And um, Unicorn Stump could give us a great amount of... In fact, I wish I got Unicorn Stump before I found that Demon Judgment, because Unicorn Stump basically has us play for free. You know, we we use it, give as much as we can. Yeah, we'll take that. As much as we can whilst, you know, the Unicorn Stump is in effect, and then we go and do one room, and then we can do it all again. Um, I would like to try and keep active this Eternal Heart if possible, so I actually don't want to spend the HP on right. it's, uh, I don't want to spend the HP itself on um, anything that accepts it like a blood bank this is a bit of a shit show of a room, what am I doing but at the same time it's not that valuable so we should really see what we get from our deal with the devil before we pass judgement in that respect because if we, if we spend all our HP on the deal with the devil then we, um, we're going to want the eternal heart if we spend you know, a small amount of it, we're not not quite... The Eternal Heart's not as valuable if you have loads of HP at the end of the floor, right? And as we go through the floors, the Eternal Heart becomes less and less valuable. And we're going to get one per floor. Now, the ideal situation is that we find an Eternal Heart anyway, get it matured early, have an extra HP to spend on things that would cost us HP. But uh, not, not hugely likely, I think, I have to be honest. There we go. Some more HP for us from doing that room and some more points, and that's what we're after. So we found the item room in the shop. I really don't care about anything else. We've also got the curse room under our belt. Basically, all the special rooms, I think, have been done. I wasn't really expecting to find that... Um, it's a small boss room. I wasn't expecting to find that mob trap room, but I was just checking out the dead ends. And I don't think there's any other dead end except maybe a dice room that I really give a toss about at this stage. And a small room Loki is basically no trouble, especially while it's feared and it's over. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll take these. More of the Void we've seen before. It was on that, um, that run when I took Ipecac and realised that more of the Void and Ipecac are not good bedfellows by any stretch of the imagination. If we want to get into the mob trap, the boss trap, out, boss trap room, we're going to want to uh, spend this eternal heart, unfortunately. Unless the telepills randomly takes us in there, there's no way of guaranteeing entrance unless we've spent um, our red HP. Honestly, with more of the void producing all these black hearts for us, even though I'm taking the shittest damage as a result, I'm not that concerned about keeping our red hearts alive. Especially these extra attacks. That's a really good out payout from that room, actually. Um, we know what our dead ends are, which is great. Because it means we can avoid exploring rooms unless we want the exploration bonus, oh, which I don't. Oh, right. We haven't actually beaten this room yet, so I can't just walk out of it again. I do want that spirit heart is why I'm coming back in here. So we can avoid doing rooms we don't need to do, which is valuable if you want to go fast. Now, I say if you want to go fast, but of course, at this stage of the game, like, we're on depths too. So, who cares about going fast? Good. That's exactly what I want to see there. Make the uh, more of the void take out the exploding enemy because I think its range is equivalent to, if not slightly greater than, our brimstone right now. Which is fine. I'm happy to report that that is the case. Check that room. It is the shop. We just press these buttons and go in. Diplopia. Diplopia on boss rush is worth a lot more than Unicorn Stump with no value. Which is sad to say, I do like using Unicorn Stump to great effect, if possible. Just checking for Tinted Drops around here. We still have this more rock available to us. Excuse me. Every fucking time, mate. I shit you not, every time I do this room, one of them spawns next to me whilst I'm dodging a different one. Or getting in line. Or something like that. Go in here, we get... My Reflection? Ooh, that's a massive range upgrade, though. Even though it causes us to have a slightly floppy... A slightly floppy. 
I mean, we're not really relying on a laser that much half the time. We're expecting more of the void to do our damage for us. And because it's not a full-on brimstone laser, I think the bendiness is at least less of a problem, if not not a problem at all. Go on, Demon Baby, you got it. Ah, uh, no. I'm not waiting. We still only have a couple of minutes to get into Boss Rush, and I would very much like to find a way out again. If nothing else, so that we can just get, you know, Diplopia there. Uh, get get our Unicorn Stump back from having spent it on Diplopia. Come on, give me some black hearts. It's the whole point of having more of the void. Hoping for a, a card to fall out of that skull. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Very good. Use more of the void as much as you appropriately can. Looking for the super secret room. Not here. Do I care? No. Let's get in here and beat Mom in record time. Let's charge up our more of the void as well. Because it can produce us a lot of black hearts in this very room. If Play it right. And it can produce a lot of black hearts on the um, boss rush itself, so. Keeping Maggie's faith for now. Mostly because we haven't had a better opportunity to take something else. Yeah, we are going down to the dark room, which is a shame. Judas's shadow. I mean, we may find an opportunity to use it. Oh, it's me and my shadow. My mistake. Obviously, because it's upside fucking down. Whatever. So I guess we diplopia this, even though I don't really want to. We get to keep one of them twice. Now we've got an orbital. That's very funny. So we take... We take this. Which gets rid of everything except for the ones that we diplopia into. The ones we got as a result of diplopia. No, that was absolutely stupid. That was not the one we wanted to offer. Although we can now teleport. Is this Doctor's Remote or Teleport? Okay, I definitely did not think that one through, and feel free to spam me with hate mail as a result. But I think at least now we can get out. Oh, shit. Well, pay for itself. Don't really like doing that. That's called failing to play the game properly, but okay. Now we just beat Boss Rush. Which is pretty easy, I think, with more of the Void helping out in the way it is. Especially considering more of the Void is going to be producing so many black hearts for us over the course of this. Obviously, I wanted to take I sh the correct thing to do, which my brain completely failed to report to me in time, is to take two of the thing you want two of, not the thing you want one of. So I should have I should have decided which one I wanted two of, which I honestly I didn't want to of any of them. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't have minded two uh, two smart flies here. I wouldn't have minded to ship to uh, BFFs, BBFs. Not entirely bothered by the fact I don't have two of them. It was a reasonably minor mistake in the, you know, in the history of all mistakes. But whatever. Let's say, pick it up and see if it's the Doctor's remote. It's teleport. So we can get out, and provided we don't end up with a error room. We can go back and get our unicorn stump. Notice how the uh, Loki's horns lasers are not any. Good. And this boss rush is actually a bit painful. It's kind of slow. Wow, what are you doing here? But at least our range is good. I think our damage has been knocked down further than I'm willing to uh, like, be happy with. I was going to say willing to admit, but of course there's no point just not admitting that. Makes sense. You know, know the world you're in. Don't deny it. Just Well, it's called denial for a reason. Is that it? Next? Yes. Holy shit, that thing tries to shoot me a million times over. Get out of it. Where are you? Pardon me? What? Oh, sorry, what just hit me just now? Can we talk about this? I took random damage from being on the other side of the screen from all known enemies. I'm not charging my more of the void up. Ah, oh, it's this poop over here. Please stop getting hit. It's very embarrassing. Now, you'd normally think of um, Blastasis there as being a reasonably easy enemy, but apparently today that is not the case. Oh, our haunt is up here, so we want to avoid getting hit by that if possible. 
I'd very much like it if it would continue to... Oh, yeah, just do that. It's also fine. <laughs> I was going to say if it would continue to attack pestilence, but if it's just going to kill itself on the uh, red poop, that is also something I'm happy with. Look how much damage we're doing with more of the Void, though. We're basically killing every boss that is reasonably weak. And that was just, just bad. I have nothing to say. Most reasonably weak bosses are going down in one more of the Void. What was that? Hit. I seem to be playing complacently, which is not a good way to play. I seem to have forgotten that things can hurt me. Ooh! I think I may have accidentally baited Monstro 2 into killing the Dark One, which is also fun. What? Excuse me, though. What is happening? Look, pay some fucking attention. Sit up straight. I'm getting hit a lot more than I should be. I mean, oh yeah, take that. That's really helpful. Good. It turns out to be a lot more difficult than you think it would be to hit things with this bendy laser. But it's completely unpredictable, apparently. Where's our other enemy? Pin. What? <laughs> I'm being hit by uh, shots that I'm not seeing, which means that there are shots happening that I'm not seeing, which means I'm not paying enough attention to the shots. But I don't know how to fix that. There, I saw it, and now moved, and then. It was still too late. Yeah, just fart on things. I don't give a shit. What are you? Why are you shooting over there, though? We're not as fast as I think I am, as well. Gemini is fine. Let's get out of here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> That's exactly where I want to be. We'll take this. Now we have uh, we have our orbitals that we requested. Oh, Smartfly is the one that turns into an orbital when you get hit, so I probably would have wanted to take two BBFs. Uh, no. I don't want to be here. But, uh, honestly, it gives a shit. Found it. Maybe good. What did we get from this deal with the devil? It was more of the void, wasn't it? Oh, no, it was... My shadow, which sucks, and nine lives, which is one guppy item. So guppy is not completely off the menu, but it's so unlikely. I mean, what do we need to get guppy now? Several fucking deals with the devil. If we charge this up and then walk into a room and press the space bar. It doesn't quite work to plan. Okay. A BBS damage output is pretty abysmal. And apparently I can't see whether I'm charged up or not anymore because I have more of the void, which means the circle, the, the face that you get from having that amazing circle of death doesn't have any animation related to charge shots. Whatever. Let's go up here. I mean, it probably wasn't necessarily worth going back to get a unicorn stump. I was kind of hoping the BBF would be a little bit better than it apparently is. It's okay. I'm glad to have something. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, this is really not helping. But it may, may come at a point when it does help. You know, just being able to whack invincibility just any time we need it to get out of the scrape or something. If something captures us in a corner, which happens to me all the fucking time, it's going to be super useful. That could have hurt us, so we could have used it there. Many opportunities. Many, many opportunities. I think my reflection... Excuse me? Also, my hitbox does not appear to be what I want my hitbox to be. Uh, seven keys is probably a good idea. If we're going to hush, it'd be nice to be able to open as many golden chests as we can. In fact, maybe the unicorn stunt would be great on hush. Let's just break these down if we can. There we go. Oh, and that voice. You hear that voice in the background? It still freaks me out to this day. Excuse me. Try not to walk into the bad guys. It's part of the uh, part of the deal of the game is that if you don't walk into the bad guys, the game doesn't punish you for walking into the bad guys. We'll use it here because I don't want to get hit by these fuckers. Man, BBF is so slow. Ooh, Teratoma. Could be uh, could be good, could be bad. Deal with the devil, please. Uh, I'm going to keep Magus Faith because having an extra HP every floor is going to be great, especially if we do get deals with the devil, which we didn't. I'm kind of hoping that I would sort of tempt it into happening by talking about it, but it didn't. Um, over and above 
What was our opportunity to just now? I honestly don't remember. I just gave up in order to keep Magnus Faith, but I don't think it was good enough. The ability to have all this extra HP with the way I've been playing today is extremely useful. Now, don't forget you've got Unicorn Stump and you can whack it any time you want. You know, there's no prizes for not using Unicorn Stump on any room where you feel like it's necessary to do so. I feel like I'm starting to get used to the uh, My Reflection thing, such that I can actually hit things with it without pissing myself off. This room, though. Use more of the Void as much as possible. Get all your HP back from all the terrible damage you've been taking. Let's, uh, secret room this up. Yep. You got it. Oh, that was a terrible dodge. I honestly, there's no reason for me to move there. It fired towards me. <laughs> and if I just stood still, it would have been fine. Doing this room because it was here. Free entry. I mean, it's free entry anyway, but maybe we get something for it. I don't know. This is the boss fight, which vindicates me because that's what I thought it was. I always walk full turn to those, though. What are you even expecting? Where did my... It's... Oh, I didn't... I meant to take... No, I remember now. It was me going on about why I'm keeping hold of uh, Maggie's faith. About actually keeping hold of Maggie's faith. I am not dodging well today. Why am I even playing? This is not worth the fucking hassle. Seems to have forgotten how to play the game, so don't worry about it. Um, normal service will be resumed never. That was an excellent use of that item. So, there we go. Excuse me, that's my deal with the devil. Fucking dick. Nine lives, no HP, hush fight. This is not going to go well. We don't have enough damage to make the hush fight seem even palatable right now. But I feel like we have to do it. Okay, go ahead. Far too late. Where were you when I needed you? They were all free. Dark Bum is a definite take, especially above Mom's bottle of pills, which is shit. Uh, I'm... Going to assume that Holy Light either still procs or just gives us a damage upgrade, but I honestly don't know. We'll buy this. Really need anything else, do I? Take these bombs. The bombs are going to help. I expect. Dark Bum's going to help if we can... Now, the one save... Excuse me. The one saving grace of the Hush fight right now... I don't know how to play this game, do I? I've completely forgotten. One saving grace of the hush fight is it spawns all those enemies that chase us down. And if they want to chase us down, they're perfectly welcome to. Because they will be more of the voided to all shit. This is fucking impossible. How the hell am I supposed to get into this bastard if he's going to keep doing that? This would have been a great run to get... Um the nuns have it. I, I'm not going to survive this. That was very difficult. I couldn't get in there because my range was too short. I mean, I don't know how I would normally do that. And here's me. <sighs> Fuck off! <laughs> ah, bullshit! I genuinely think that Rubber Cement has both saved us and fucked us on this run. And I just walked into that bastard. Because I forgot he spawned there. What am I even doing today? You know what? This is not even worth the time. There's no way of hitting this fucker. Like, I can't get in unless, you know, BBF is in exactly the right fucking place. There's no way we can do this fucking fight. I took so much damage just because I can't reach. I mean, we just die seven times now, I guess. I'm a bit salty because I've just played like absolute shit today, you know? This was a... It's an Azazel run. How'd you do badly? Ooh. Well... You take rubber cement. <laughs> but the thing is, if we didn't take rubber cement, we still wouldn't be able to reach this bastard without getting him right close. Oh, suddenly I figured out how the fuck to do it. Yeah, great, nice one. It's too late, mate. You've got to do the whole hush fight without getting hit. It's just the lost all over again. Where you at, though? 
these things would pay out with a fucking black card. That'd be swell. You are, though. How can you be dead and also hitting me? Man, this ain't Gungeon. The boss's bullets don't disappear just because of boss does. Woo. Yeah, keep doing that. We do a lot of damage if we can sustain that attack. Especially if we can get more of the Void to play. If we ever use Unicorn Stump, it's gone. Forever. So we have to use it at the right time. And fuck knows what the right time is. So just keep doing this dodging. This dodging is good. You're an artful dodger right now, mate. Artful. Fucking... Don't get hit. Just stop getting hit. Whatever you do, do not get hit. Just get him out of this phase and into the one where he causes baddies that drop black hearts when you're more of the poison. Right. Is that good? That might be good. Come on, bro. Where you at? No more locomoting. We'll do this now. Because I'm terrified. <laughs> what are you doing? This? Oh, shit. Yeah, that. One... Two, three. More the void. Oh shit, we got one. Don't. Ah, the fuck! <laughs> I'm so pissed off. Oh, but that's still in there, so. Can I pick it up? Leave it there. I should not have taken that speed downgrade earlier, because. It's gone from being able to dodge these bullets to being in dire straits whenever they get fired. And you know, I, I haven't. I'm not good enough to be in dire straits. Um, I've got nothing on Mark Not. I can't sing like him, I can't play like him. Why would I be in dire straits? Such a bad idea. I have to keep doing this until we either die completely, or get enough black hearts on the ground to be able to survive any stage of this fight at all. If we can keep getting him into that fly state. We have some chance because honestly, we only need some good play and a couple of uh, lucky drops. And good play and a bit of HP. And we can get through all of this without completely shitting the bed somehow. We haven't got our unicorn stump anymore. But here's this stage one, two, three. Fuck. That's very difficult to dodge. Don't do that. Don't do that. Run away. Get him. Get him. We've done quite a lot of damage to it, considering. One, two, three. We have to hold it down for long enough, which is the annoying part. Oh, you fucking walked into the bullet. In order to um get the black heart, we need more of the void to more of the void. Use this guy. Use this stage. Why are you not using this stage? Fire in this direction. Get this happening. There we go. Farm them up here. I don't. I don't want Charm of the Vampire. I want fucking more of the oh, you f I can't run away from that shot. Once it starts accelerating towards me, it's faster than me. So I'm. I'm boned at that point. There's nothing I can do. So I basically have to not let that hit me. One, two. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start boom, where's my, uh, where's my advantage? Why are you here? Shit! <laughs> we have to pick it up this time. Uh, we don't. We've got plus, we've got X1 lives, which means we've got one more chance at this and then... Did you see how that one was not following the pattern of the rest of them? Can we just talk about this temporarily? Let's address this particular bone of contention. You're supposed to fucking do it right, bastard. I mean, maybe I... Oh, it's the second one. This is our last life. So now we get this. Don't die. Fuck. Ooh, close. Does more of the void have the same sort of 
effect as Circle of Protection, wherein um, it also breaks bullets. Right, it's in the other phase that I think. So what do now? <laughs> oh, fucking Loki's fucking horns! Though. I can't imagine. Oh, you bastard! I can't imagine that if we had two of any of these orbitals, we would be better off. This is one of those situations where you just move as little as possible. And is Demon Baby actually hitting there? Fudge. <laughs> I mean, I'm pulling out some dodges that I'm pretty proud of, but at the same time, it's doing me no good. It does you no good. There's a hush in my neighbourhood. Which I cannot help but fight. Of late. Where's my flies at? Produce flies. Yes. I don't want fucking Charm of the Vampire bullshit. I want red black hearts from my. More of the Void. That's why I'm using it. I'm not charging it up long enough at all. These are the ones that fold back in on themselves, which is the worst to dodge. Maybe they're not. Ah! Bastard! No, I couldn't get out. I got stuck in the middle. That was bullshit. <laughs> that was absolute shit. Why the fuck did I think I could do that? We had such poor damage and range. It's the range. You, I just can't beat Azazel. I can't beat Hush as Azazel. I don't know why I tried, but... Thank you for watching. Thank me for playing... Oh, come back next time. I have had enough. I'm going to bed. Good day.